So here we are with the update. So basically, this is the twenty third. Um, I'll just open up the day. I'll just film that. We've got the snowman, astral med, which is I love this. <laughs> I don't need to put them on the plate, so I don't know if this has got 10 minutes because I don't know if the tip is called Rides and Rides. So today is my final day of work and then I'm off for like 7 days. Ooh, I'm going to enjoy walking out of that building tonight. It's also the last time that I need to work till 11 o'clock. So if I'm wondering where what's going to go on in this clip, well, simple. We're going to pick up these cushions and put them on the bed. Nah, and that's not all we're going to do. But it's some of what's going to do, so I'm going to go for a shower and I'm going to wash my hair. I haven't done it for a week, so that'll be good. So, one more day to go on the advent calendar. Do you know what I'll admit? I'm going to say the same thing that I thought as a kid. That, yeah, every other day in this is a surprise. But the 24th, you know what's coming. So the red out, they're going to give you the Santa figure. Which will be really fun to open this. I'm going to put it on there. There we go. So, other things I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm working. I think it's half five to eleven, so I'm going to go for a shower and wash my hair already. Because it's like, it's um 14 minutes past one. I should probably close the point and make sure that makes better sense. Turn off the TV. Set up things like hair dryers and stuff. But yeah, you'll be watching this on Christmas Eve or any point after um, Christmas Day. Mm. I don't know. If I'm going to try, now this is a big if, if I'm going to put the Christmas Day vlog up on Christmas Day. Because that would then set me back by not having anything to up with the following day. So I'm probably just going to do it the way I normally do it. Yeah. I've got those trousers. I think I've washed the brush that I bought already. I hope not. Well, that's great. I bought that brush because it untangles hair and now I can't find it. That's great. One second, I'll walk under the bed. <laughs> there it is. I guess I'm going to need to today after all. Oh my gosh, I got that. Yeah, my guy has a bunch of hairbrushes. Deal with it. Right. Hair towel, regular towel. So I need these up over here. Right, so I'm gonna leave this one and put on this one. Don't know why the hell it turned it off. One second. Let's Google. <clears throat> My dad's currently in the bathroom, so I'm telling him I'm gonna open up this. It does look I've not, like I've not opened days, but I have. Well, apparently I skipped the 18th. I've been totally forced. Hmm. Weird. Three servants. <clears throat> I don't remember. 
Mars Captain Days. So here we are, yesterday's vlog's only started up loading, it's about to click over at half past, so I'm going to talk about something as I kind of clear it around. I hoovered again, well I say again, I don't think I did it yesterday. I hoovered, because I'm trying to make, uh, tomorrow I'm not working, I'm not at college, it's like a full day off, which I don't remember the last time I had a complete, I genuinely don't actually, a day where I did nothing the entire day, that does. Yeah, because yesterday I was in college, and then I met David, yeah. So... Last year when I joined with B&M, I was a Christmas tent, right? Meaning they hire you because you need extra hands at Christmas to complete work, if you don't know. Um, and then either you keep the job or you lose the job. So last year I joined, I was initially a week before the 24th. So on the 17th of December, 2021, I was called at the office. I was handed a letter saying, you know, hey, we're gonna, you're going to lose your job. We're going to sack you, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to take some washing for there, but yeah, I'll continue. So, yeah, basically, I was like, not because you were bad, but it's just like, they have to get rid of someone, or like a couple. And last year, they did get rid of a lot, like, I think one or two stayed a little bit longer. Um, but as it stands, out of all the Christmas temps that we hired last year, that I was a group of, only two exist. Me and that bitch who does fucking TikToks instead of working. She'll come into factor in a minute. Um, I know someone's gonna be like, you can't call a girl off, but fucking watch me. It's just my YouTube channel, I don't know what the fuck I'm on. So, basically, what happened was, instead of doing that week before, they do it today. They give the little list of, hey, you're always in your job. Ugh, right. There we go. They've done it today. Today would be the last shift because all, none of these people are in tomorrow. But earlier today, three co workers, I'm not going to say their full names, mm. Billy Leo and. Who's that one? Mo, basically, were told about two hours ago, so I got a text from another colleague saying, Oh, yeah, the end of the shift, don't come back. That's a fucking dick move. Some of these people work exceptionally fucking hard as well. Like, some of these were like. Some of them, you know, these guys worked, like, proper good as well. And the outrage I have here is, you've got somebody like Leone, who does not work unless they force her. Like, they physically have to stand with her, so most of the managers, and make her work. They have to stand there and fucking watch her like a school child. Fucking stupid. And then you've got, is this fucking no right? And then, you know, mean, these other three guys who work hard as fuck. Sorry, we've not got space for you. Goodbye. The fuck? Like, you can't eat there that. Especially when this person has been caught making fucking TikToks. This person intentionally riles people up. To the point of, like, I have been... had to calm down with this person. Because the, this fucking 16, 17 year old lassie fucking speaks to people like she fucking runs the place. It's fucking disgraceful. Horrible way to be spoken to. And somebody like her who wastes people's time, does nothing, skives on the toilet, plays on her phone, they fucking keep. This happened last year. As well. What the fuck? Some people deserve a fucking job, and some people need to be built up the fucking arse, and I think that's a disgrace of who got what's the job there. That ain't fucking right, and that's not fly with me one bit. Fucking no. So, there remains a possibility that I might be the only fucking staff member on tonight. 
And this has happened to me before, but I've been the only person on, but they've been like, listen, can you keep the standards of a full fucking team? Oh, right, aye. So in the five and a half hour shift that I've got, after the entire fucking team is four or five people's up for work. Yeah, aye, fucking right. In January, the night shift staff do become four staff, but it lasts, it, it does not last that long. Like, it's not long before they're back to night shift, or they end up just not, like, because you earn a lot more money on night shift than as you do a regular member four staff. So, yeah, it's just a whole, it's just a fucking extremely shitty situation for those involved. I do feel bad for those that have lost the job. I mean, some people in there, like, that guy at Leo, maybe deserved it. The guy did fuck all the work sometimes. Well, I say all of them were good workers. He was a good worker, but like he, whatever he done was good. He just done not very much. <laughs> oh, I bet this big bag of popcorn. I'm going off. That's fine. I'm just gonna have to throw this out. Hmm. Positive notes. This is the last time until next fucking December that I'll have to work till eleven at night. After this, it's officially done. There will be others losing their job, as far as I'm aware. Tell staff, because most of them are temps. Mmm. Mmm. Right. I'm going to quickly go to the toilet. I'll be right back. Anyway, that's like, what, fucking nearly 22? So I'm nearly 10 minutes above when I wanted to leave. But I've got the bus pass, which I'm so happy. Two weeks. I'm not having it. Pissed me right off. I need to pull this through over. Let's Google. I said, I'm trying to look for my bloody earphones. I don't want to leave the house without my earphones, especially knowing I'm going to be working. That's just annoying. One second. You got a bit of a longer walk this way. Alright, they're underneath. I threw a whole bunch of. I don't like to put candles in here. So there's a whole bunch of instructions and shit on top of that unit I've had to put here with fucking like, sub and shit instructions. I need to organise a bunch of things. But I'm also keeping a lot of stuff out. Because literally a week from now I get paid, which is good. And then a few days after that I plan to be doing the everything I bought in 2022 video, which that shit's gonna get ex like that video is gonna be so fucking expensive. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I'm not walking on this key to get in the back. Wait, we'll see you guys after the shift. Hopefully I'm not the only person on phone. So after a long day at work, which I'm not back for a week, I'm actually really excited about that. <laughs> so it is late, right? No, my family's not in bed. No, there was something else. Me. No. Um, basically, they're away over at Tesco like, to grab some shit. So, I'm more or less just here to listen out for the kids. And well, make pizza, obviously. I'm going to wait for that to heal. I'm going to go for it my room. I threw out my work boots as they had finally done it. I was sent out into the car park to grab trolleys and because of the rain, literally my boots up off the water, my feet hurt quite a bit. So that ain't good. Well, you do have to leave this open a bit. So, I think this will probably be my final clip of the vlog. See, it is only the third, but 
I'm going to try and save some footage space so yesterday's vlog can rewind. Today's can rewind up quicker. Because tomorrow I'm going to be opening the, you know, final door on the uh, 2012 ad right now. It's been really fun, very nostalgic trip to do this. Um, yeah, time. I'm going to find something. Else. So we're going to do a few things um, as we end off the vlog. Number one is I'm going to get changed. Um, I'm going to put you guys down here somewhere. Oh, here's a complete music. Okay. 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 What the room does? Top tip, don't have siblings. No, I get it, whatever. Who had a younger sibling ever had a choice? Ah. The amount of dust underneath this is unreal. I'm going to pick these to say it's up on this cube that I've done. Honestly, I can't wait to not wear any of this blue house shit for a week. Yeah. But yeah, since we're past midnight, it's technically Christmas Eve, which is insane. One thing that would be really work is I've already gotten rid of pretty much all the Christmas stuff, like apart from a few bays which here and there are handsome. It's pretty much almost all gone. Empty my pockets there. Honestly, the, the Christmas season, at least in BM, flew right in, which is also kind of insane given that as far back as kind of like August, some of that shit started to pop up in the store. And you know what the weirdest thing was, right? Last year when I started, I had started in early November, so the Christmas stuff had already been there. So it was the weirdest thing in the world to go in January because I had not been used to the store in almost sounds like it totally felt weird without all the Christmas crap everywhere. Like very it felt very strange. One second, I'll see once I'm changed. I've been got pajamas on. So pretty much every vlog after this one will be work in college free up until basically the thirty first so yeah, a week basically of vlogs from doing nothing. Um, so the Christmas Eve vlog, which is technically the next one, um, what we'll be doing, I will be basically gutting my room out, I'll also be wrapping gifts, which is primarily watching all these boxes, it'll be nice to not have these boxes kicking up. Put on that lamp there. I'm going to leave the door. Right. So, my door is open to listen for my siblings. Um, that's the primary reason why I've not really went to sleep yet, but I need to stay up for their benefit, obviously. So we're gonna leave this open a jar slightly more. But anyway, um yeah, tomorrow will be well the last time we'll open any of these I think on this, which is cool. Um also tomorrow should be pretty chilled out, so I'm gonna chill out here and watch some things. See you guys in tomorrow's vlog, which this one will be the one that goes up on Christmas Eve, but tomorrow's one will go up on Christmas Day.